All right, so we have done a number of things today. I cut the hair and this region of the carving in at this angle in order to try to pair it up with the side of the face. I left a lot of these um, movements here, these areas, these shapes here, uh, very thick because there's going to be a lot of hair in each one of these areas. But the reason I did it this way is so that I could get the flow. The hair is flowing off of his head and down in front of his neck and chest region since he's laying on the ground. And I needed to get those wavy lines incorrectly so that I could go back and eventually um, uh, cut in the hair. So I also did it up here as well. Um, the hair could come straight up, but it doesn't really work that way. When you cut wood and you cut straight up, it tends to weaken and uh, it's easier to snap free. So when you create hair on any creature, um, it's better to leave it as thick as you can get it and still make it look wavy and hair-like in a wavy way. So what I'll do, and I'll show you, what I'll do to get more hair look like Make, make it look more like hair is to um, basically keep the wavy look that it's gotten out and cut small, small fine hairs in after I've cleaned all of these uh, harsh corners off. So like um, this, well, I don't, I'm not really there yet, but the, the wavy and the, dick, the, the actual direction that I want the hair to go in, that's put in place. So that's good. Um, eventually I will get some of the hair to come up in this direction covering part of the paw here and you can see that I've cut some hair down here as well I need this hair to come from where it is down and around clockwise around this head so I've gone from a high point down to a low point over here in a rounding motion to get it to go there and then we'll cut in fine hairs here underneath the chin uh, also, we'll stagger step them so that they're high here and low here. Uh, work on this later, and then I'll show... Uh, Matthew had a question about uh, cutbacks. I'll show you where the cutbacks occur. Cutbacks can go underneath a specific place, like I could cut from here to the other side, uh, showing depth, and that would be a cutback. But the main cutback that I was talking about earlier is... Uh, probably around here. So what will happen is I'll get it to the depth that I want. I'm not making a cut bag now, but I'm going to get it to the depth that I want. And then after that, I'll move in about a centimeter on all areas here. And what that'll do is this, the lighting will come in and make it look like it's deeper just from the cut bag. So I'll work with that. Um, yeah, it's enough for today. It's 11 p.m. My wife wants me upstairs. So... Yeah. <laughs>